Hello everybody and welcome back to another tutorial on the Twin Plays channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the part 2 of the 99 Nights in the Forest game series. Um, this video we'll be going over like tree chopping, you know, a small tutorial, fueling your campfire, dragging logs, and a night and day system. Um, this was made by Tigo and Hayden, um, so thank you guys so, so much. Um, they are actually in the description, so feel free to go check them out. Um, I'm going to leave them down there, and Tigo and Hayden, appreciate you guys so much, so thank you again. Uh, and yeah, go go give them a thanks, you guys. And of course, if you're new to the channel, feel free to turn on that hit the subscribe button and turn on post notifications. Um, and yeah, we're gonna hop right into this. It's not too difficult to set up, but of course, if you are watching this as a first episode, feel free to go watch the first one because the first one talks about uh, setting up your game for the lobby like we are in right now. Um, and then yeah, we're just gonna go straight into it basically. So let's hop over to Studio. All right, so just a little reminder, like I said, all the links in the description. You're going to be going to the documentation, of course, so the documentation will be in the description. It goes over everything, and um, as well as the Discord, so in order to get this, you're going to have to join the Discord. Um, guys, this isn't a model just because of certain reasons as of right now, but yes, it's in my Discord, so just join the Discord. I know if you guys are on Studio Lite, it's a little different because um, ours kind of goes in, it just has a Roblox place file. Um, so if you do want to try and, uh, you know, get a model and stuff, I'll think about that in the future, but for now it is just a place file. Um, so for part two, um, honestly, kind of the same thing as we did last time. So what we talked about is remember, this is the first place we had. So as for the first place, um, in your places right here, you should have a place too. This is where people are going to be teleported and things like that. So you should have a main one. This is like the lobby, you know, this is the one that you can customize, you can move and do whatever you need to do inside of this. Um, so you don't have to worry about it um, because this is not thing we're gonna be touching. But when you go to the file in uh, Google Drive, of course, um, there's gonna be part one and part two. In part two, you're just gonna grab this right here and of course it says replace. So just hit download and it will just get you a file. So just get that place and you could just open it actually. So I'm gonna open mine up. Um, I can just, you know, I can even actually just close out of this because we don't need it. Um, but as you can tell, so now we have part two. This is the part two place file. So for those, like I said, there's so much in it that uh, we won't be able to just, you know, have the models as it is. But I might be able to make a model for you guys who are on Roblox Studio Lite. For now, though, it is just a place file. So it's a little bit different. Um, but yeah, so, okay. So going through this, first of all, um, you're going to have to publish this. So publish to Roblox as, and then uh, I think I was, yeah, so I was just in this one. Yes. Okay. So in here, when you click your, your 99 nights, whatever that is. So, um, oh shoot. Uh, where did that go? Uh, okay. So yeah, just find your game or whatever, I guess you could say. Yeah. 99 nights place two, overwrite. So once you overwrite it, the, the last one we made, then it will set it up to the point where when people get teleported into new servers, it's going to be brand new and made. Okay. So I'm going to be going over some of the stuff. I'm probably going to be looking at the documentation mainly, but yeah, so initial setup, you're good. We don't need to worry about anything too crazy. Okay, so um, Tico talks about, um, or Aiden and Tico talk about uh, the axe animation. So you need to set up an axe animation. There's chop tools, uh, there's configs, and some more stuff in here. So it looks like you can also install a uh, animation in here. So, okay, animation with loading flows. Okay, so animation. So I think this is for animation stuff. So that's pretty cool. I've never even seen this before. Let's actually check it out. Um, okay, so you can install that. Um, but yeah, so basically it's just a plugin, of course. So that's kind of nice. But what it looks like is we go into replicated storage. We go to components and assets and then animations. Tools, axe, perfect. Chop animation. Okay, so... Um, Okay, so copy the ID, open the plugin, paste the ID. Oh, wow, I've never seen this before. Wait, hold on, let me, let's see what this is all about. Animation spoofer. Oh, okay, hold on. I have never seen this before. Okay, so we're gonna go in here. Um, okay, so I'm gonna grab this animation ID. Uh, convert. So, oh, wait, let's just grab the ID itself. Convert. Okay, so let's go like this. Um, okay, let's see again. No, wait, that's probably not what you do maybe like this uh auto upload i've never seen this before i think what it's asking is you open it and you grab an animation and it gives you an id oh fail to grab animation huh that's a little different well 
Okay, well, that's not a worries. Either way, so chop animation, honestly, you could make one. I'll show you how to right now. Um, let's just see though, R15 axe chop. So sometimes you could just search this up and and it will just normally show up, but I mean, sometimes not. Sometimes there is, uh, let's see. Let's see, R15 animation. Let's see, R15 axe. Um, okay, yeah, let's see. Let's just see, double check. Okay, we found a dummy right here. Avatar animation editor. We're just gonna use him. Let's see what it does. We might have one. We never know. Um, let's see. Load axe. Boom. Okay. There's there's an animation. Uh, you don't want to unloop. You probably just want to on one hit. That's weird. Okay. Well, that works. Um, so whatever. If you get and make an animation, um, you could just. Oh, sorry. So I probably should put this right here for you guys. Um, you can just you know hit publish. This should be animation priority. Should be in action. And then just publish to Roblox, either if it's under the group, like it's a group game, put it under your group, but I'm going to put me and then I'll just put like Axe Chop or whatever. Um, and then, yeah, I'm going to just grab this, uh, close that, delete this guy. Um, okay, and then just grab the nine number right here, so this ID, and that should change your animation. Now, honestly, it's recommended you make an animation if you don't know how best to just watch a tutorial on it. But yeah, so looks like you just have an Axe for now, so that's pretty cool. Um, okay, so once you do that, then you can equip the tags and click a tree. Number of clicks equals hits required, which you can set in the config. So it looks like they have a thing for uh, config. But yeah, so there's like logs, which is pretty cool. Um, so if I actually bring this out and put it in a workspace, um, this is what the log looks like. And it has a little uh, overhead GUI. So if you want to customize the overhead GUI, you could probably go inside here and change this based off of your liking. You know, you can change this uh, set text, you know, to whatever you like, um, up to you. And then in the end, just put it back to where it is in models. Um, sounds as well. Looks like there's chop sounds and um, that's not a bad sound. Um, fire, so you can hear that. But yeah, so you could change these again, like I said, just by going through the toolbox and going through there. Um, it looks like in components and then modules... Uh, campfire functions and then there's the stuff right here okay so there's a few things in here let's see audio animations very very well done written oh my gosh they're so good at it <laughs> um, i'll look at the configs for you guys so we can see okay profile store they're using that's awesome dragging handler this is cool too um awesome okay so with uh, the day we'll probably go step by step but for now it talks about campfire so hits required is just based off of like how many hits needed per tree there's um, log count, so it gives you three logs if you break a tree. Um, it it's, looks like it's just set for each tree is the same almost, so you're going to have certain trees. Um, and also, guys, like you can change the skybox to your liking, but I think they made it pretty well in this, in my opinion, so I wouldn't worry as much. As you can tell, though, so like this is how it looks. Um, we have, okay, let's just look real quick, too. We have main lobby, we have campfire, fallen logs, and fireplace, so don't worry about these folders. In campfire, we have the highlight part. Um, so this part I'll talk about in a bit here, but it gets shown later in the game. We have the campfire itself. Um, so you can customize this too as well, up to you guys. Um, just make sure there's some of these things like, okay, so you have the fire part, you have the UI. Just make sure these are in them. But like when it comes to like the decoration part like this, you could delete it or you could like mess around and fix it how you like. Um, and then values in here as well. So uh, this is just uh, basically looks like it's just some values. Um, I don't know if you need to change this if you want to, but you can probably mix if you want to as well. And then trees, same thing like I said, you guys. So um, going with the trees, if you're going to make another one, you could just go here and like go and move it and then call it like tree six. It looks like it ends on tree five, so we'll go tree six. Um, and then, yeah, just, just about that. But yeah, make sure you're just being careful with the naming and everything. But when it comes to design portion wise, um, it looks like they just have primary uh, parts. So you can make part like you can make the trees however you like and then just make sure you change the primary part of that. But okay, so we're good with the workspace stuff. We don't really have to worry too much about that. Um lighting as well, same thing. They got the lighting presets in here, so value default graphics is pretty cool. Okay. Um yeah, so going back to this, uh log spawn radius, there's angles, there's progress per log, decay rate, decay interval, progress base. These are all just like configurable values, so you could change these based to your liking. Um, and then same thing goes for day and night. So as you can tell, so um, initial day count, you can just, you know, set that to one if you want or 14 is I think that means it starts on that current day count equals. Yeah, so starts on day 14, it looks like. Um, but 
probably set it to one, of course. Um, and then night duration and day duration. This is where you'll go through and change this. So this is in seconds. So you're going to want to probably make this a little uh, longer, of course. So just configure this. I think that's five minutes if I'm right. Um, but yeah, so... Okay, so now we got that. What's included? Now we have the tutorial stuff. Okay, so this is with the tutorial. So that kind of goes over a good amount of everything in here with the modules and stuff. These are you don't really have to worry as much. Mainly, this is all customization, as you can tell. Um, and then server script service kind of goes over. I think it's everything in here. So we'll go over that in a bit. Server storage. Uh, yeah, it's just a W. We don't worry about that. And the starter axe as well. Um, if you want to customize this. So as you can tell, we have the axe in here. Um, if you want to customize this to your liking guys, it's actually super simple to do. So like, I mean, we have a union and a mesh part. These have weld constraints. So you got to make sure they are welded to each other. Um, the handle is what holds it. So, you know, if you were to use tool grip editor, it will show you, uh, like where it's being hold, but same thing goes for that. You guys, you could use an easy weld plugin or anything to do it, but you could just make an ax or that, like search an ax on the toolbox and just change it to your liking. And then you just have to just set in here. Just make sure there is something called a handle. Um, and yeah, don't uh, make sure these are like the same thing as well with the properties and stuff. But in handle, it looks like it's all the same. So it's just a regular tool. Um, and of course, guys, just put it back in starter pack. Okay, in starter player. So we have a client and then we have the UI and we have utils. Okay, so it looks like you go into tutorial client um, functions. Okay, we don't know where about that. Tutorial client wise, it looks like this talks about the tutorials. Um, so it looks like the first task is, um, so it says, welcome to the game when you join. And then it's like your first task, top a tree and gather the wood. Well done. Now repeat this process, to continue, um, processing. Um, so into steps. So these are the steps. Okay. Yeah. So it looks like this is what goes on right here. So, um, what's kind of nice about this, it looks like how they set it up is it's just go step by step. So welcome to the game, your first task, and then well done. So you could just change this to your liking. And then if you want to just make another one, technically you would just, um, you would just go over here and do it again. And then, uh, you would just change something again. You just change through here and you can add a function if you want. So if you want to add a function, just follow what they did right here. So if that kind of makes sense when it goes to, uh, just making more steps, you don't have to worry about any of this, but of course this is what goes through and tells you. So if this is a well done, so you'd probably want to make something right here that make your you know new tutorial right here um okay so that works campfire system locks me dragged into no current config dragging system mostly hard-coded you can tweak some things so it looks like you can tweak um some of the dragging logs if you want so that's pretty cool log models just make sure all the parts are named exactly so we kind of talked about that and then yeah so this is kind of what i was saying about the night and day system uh, Tico wrote this up really well, but this kind of just talks about, you know, how long the day lasts, how long the night lasts and starting day count. So you want to go about that. Um, and then of course this will all update. So if you guys do want to, you know, change the stuff, this stuff, text and tutorial, you can change that based to your liking, of course. Um, and then, yeah, so like I, if I wanted to, I could go and, uh, you know, I'm gonna probably go and start on zero for now, but I don't know if it works in studio. I right, let's just test it out. An animation speaker cannot run while game is running. Okay, yeah. Oh yeah. So your first chop is chop the tree and gather the wood. Okay, so I'm gonna go here, and we'll probably add satchel into this to make it look good. But yeah. So as you can tell, the animation ID is not amazing, but that's what happens. Um. So okay. All right. So I got the animation now. Um. And then it dropped. It dropped it. Um. But yeah, you don't want that kind of animation. You want an animation that's where it's just like one click and it's one hit. But yeah, so look, look, you grab the tool right here. There we go. So it has the wood going, which is really cool. Um, so I could go right here, keep adding into it. Um, so it kind of does the levels and stuff. I don't think it, yeah, definitely it doesn't hurt you, but um, it's pretty cool. So yeah, so of course, if I were to fill it up all the way, which I mean, I guess I could try and do that, but um yeah, so I could just keep hitting it, blah, 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 get my thing, get my wood, get my logs. Um, and it just fuels it. So it just keeps going just like you would in the normal game. Um, really, yeah, it's really well done, though. I like the highlights and everything. It looks good. And uh, yeah, this is basically part two of the tutorial, guys. Um, so I don't know. Maybe let me just let me just try and cook up right here. We could just uh, we could just get all these going. We just keep mining this 
this tree and log right here. Okay, we can go here. Another one. Okay. A little laggy on that part. I wonder why it goes so slow, but it's okay. Okay, one more tree, and we got the tree, the thing going. Um, but yeah, so I don't know. It looks like uh, da -da. in part three, they have the inventory system, the food healing, food cooking, hunting animals for food, and then live animals. So that's kind of cool. Um, definitely will need to work on that because that's definitely the hardest part is, you know, getting these animals that are working and stuff. But yeah, okay. So you have the drag here. Got your thing going. Um, let me get my... Oh, I need one more. One more, one more, one more. Okay, so I'm going to grab this guy again. Um, but yeah, thank you so much to Yon Hayden. This is just awesome. But okay, so now we got... It's level one, okay? So it's level one. Um, of course, it's, you know, still day zero. But um, yeah, so if I were to uh, look at the, like, other stuff, so, like, the campfire functions like I was talking about, this kind of goes into, you know, progress-wise and, you know, things you can change. But that is it, you guys. That is uh, that is it for this tutorial. It's nothing too too hard and crazy. Um, it just depends how you want to customize it. I'm going to see if I can maybe make it a model for you guys. But for now, it's just a kit that's in the Roblox, uh, in our Discord server. So feel free to join up, you guys. Um, and I hope you did enjoy this tutorial. And there's many, many more tutorials to come. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.